welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I've sat down, done a video, talked to you guys, and I'm so sorry. I have a video for you today, and see, I've also been waiting for all of this stuff to arrive, and all of it kind of arrived today, so I said, why not sit down and video it now? And basically what it is today, if you didn't already read the title, it's just going to be a big huge haul. Um, most of this stuff is what I got because I'm going away on holidays in a couple of days. So I wanted to really build up my suitcase summer holiday clothes. And yeah, that's basically what this video is going to be today. So if you want to see what, as soon as I sat down the video, my doorbell went. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you today is actually makeup because I did pick up some makeup and I love to pick up when I go away on holidays. I don't really like to bring my Mac. Realistically, you're going to sweat most of them off or some days you're not going to wear them. But at the same time, I do like to have a foundation I can grab before going on a night out. And I picked up these bad boys here, showing the world everything. So basically, I picked up these. It's just the True Match Rimmel London Foundation, and these have been my tried and true since, I don't know, secondary school, maybe third year, I started wearing these, and I still, to this day, love them. I can apply them a lot better, though, now. These are gonna just go in my makeup bag. Um, they are 30 mil, so that means they're perfect amounts for the plane. So yeah, I'm gonna bring these. I got them in the color, this one in the classic beige, 201. Um, I picked the Rimmel Match Perfection, I don't know, whatever, 201 in Classic Beige as well. And then this one is Soft Beige. Two in Classic Beige and Soft Beige. Um, but these are a little bit different, but they're really good coverage. They have SPF 20 and 18. Yeah, so they're gonna go in my suitcase. 22, and I just picked up, um, again, two things I grab. <sighs> picked up a lipstick. I actually forgot I picked this up. And I got this in Velvet Teddy. This um, Velvet Teddy is kind of a go-to for everyone and it just kind of looks like this pinky kind of food. And I'll just swatch it for you guys there. And that's that. Uh, I just, I love my pink kind of nudes, but I don't want them to be as dark as I usually have on. So I did go for a little bit lighter. Lip liner and it just came like this. I got this one in Strip Town. This is like literally my favorite lip liner of my life. It's really nice with the Velvet Teddy because Velvet Teddy is more of a pink. This is more of a brown. So I'll swatch this one. Can you see? I actually have it on my lips today. So yeah, and I'm wearing Viva the Glam and Strip Down on my lips today if you're wondering. But woman also gave me a sample of the new MAC mascara. She gave me two of them and I have to say they are really good and I love having them. They're actually in just little mini bottles. I think I'll keep them too and put them in my holiday kind of makeup bags. Next up was of course my MAC um, Studio Fix powder. I just wanted to top myself up on that because I will bring my powder because it's just my holy grail. As always, I get this in NC20. I don't want to wear a liquid on my face while I'm over there. I like to have a powder. I can just, you know, stop all that greasiness happening. Of course, I stopped into pennies. She didn't, oh, up two shoes that I think I kind of like to have disposable stuff, but stuff that's still on trend and nice. And instead of paying like 80 euro in Topshop for little pumps or something, they look like this. I think they're going to be perfect for running around and they were 7 euro. In my favorites, um, the Birkenstocks that I got out of Pennies and they kind of had like a woodeny look to them but when I went back into Pennies they did have just these full black leather ones and I thought these were actually pretty slick and super comfy. They kind of have a jelly feel to them. 5 euro so they are definitely going in the holiday bag as well as the kind of wooden the other ones that I showed, you can check out my video, they had like that kind of um, brownie bottom sole to them. Next, um, I'll show you what I got in Stradivarius. So like well priced, like it's not too expensive and you're getting some really good quality on trend stuff. And I have to say, I am a big advocate for Stradivarius. First thing that I picked up in Stradivarius is, oh, the lighting. The first thing I picked up in Stradivarius is just this denim black butting up um, kind of skirt. And it's just denim, buttons up the front all the way down. You have to like wrap it around your body to put it on. And it's super high waisted and I just really, really love it. It's really nice quality and it was 20 euro. So I was, oh, I just threw it on the ground. 
seeing some of those kind of skirts going for nearly I don't even know like 60 euro crazy prices 20 euro for that skirt and it's super nice it's just this little brown suede crop top and I think it's so nice um, it's super soft it's just gonna be really nice and comfy to wear maybe on a night out or something like that when I'm on holidays but it is actually pretty light and all these kind of suede brown camel kind of clothes are so in this summer so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, $17.95. So 18 euro for this and 20 euro for the skirt. And um, that's a whole outfit there. And I can mix and match them with everything. And I really, really impressed with Shadowvarius. This is a package. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see um, I posted a picture of me in these two um, swimsuits. I'm not really a big fan of bikinis. Don't know why, just not really my thing anymore. I used to love them. Found this shop. Um, they are located in Dublin. They're called Nine Crows. Also have an online website, which is where I bought these two swimsuits. They do all like vintage remade pieces, kind of like the the vintage line that Topshop has, you know, where they rework all the pieces. Well, they're so 70s, kind of 60s vibe to them. The swimsuit is this one here. And it has a really retro 70s kind of feel to it and a super groovy print. It has a really low cut back and it's also a really high cut crotch. Now this is a size large and it is a little bit big for me on the bigger side but that's okay because I'd rather have it too big and be able to pull it in than have it too small and not be able to wear it. So um, I'm going to get that just taken in a little bit at the back before I go and it's by the brand O'Neill. 32 euro if you can see there and they do free packaging in Ireland but I don't know if you're going to buy internationally but if you do want a cool never seen before no one else is going to have it swimsuit then I definitely would recommend checking out their page. This is the second one. I oh, I love this swimsuit but seriously if you want to see what they look like on you can go check out my Instagram. They're really nice. Um, my Instagram is just at Jasmine Heaney. I'll have it linked below. So, okay, it's like really wrinkled because I had it in a ball. Okay, so it just has this like shell kind of detail at the front. Again, low cut back on it, which I love. I think these are super sexy. Sexier than a bikini. I would much rather see someone in this than in a bikini. I'm sorry, I just, and you know, you'll feel a lot more comfortable if you're like me and you're a bit conscious. So, cool for holidays so I love them yes at nine crows check their page out and I got this in a size medium I think and it's by the brand Sicily and this one was 32 euro as well so um oh boo hoo first thing I got were these high-waisted super ripped up um kind of boyfriend jeans and this is the back they also have like a really cool rip at the back so but it doesn't go up too high it looks like where if you were to wear shorts where they would kind of cut off. Now in Ireland we don't get that much sun so I think these will wear these a lot this summer and I love how high waisted they are. They're so comfortable on, they're not too tight, not, but they don't look like mom jeans you know where they're like too oversized and I think these were 36 euro from Boohoo and uh, they're just new so they're, they should be still on the website. Um, like, I thought it was going to be kind of be able to wear for a bikini. Mm, not a bikini, like a bodysuit kind of thing, but it's more of a cotton material. A leotard kind of thing comes up high on your neck. So basically, it's just a high neck onesie eclipse at the bottom. I think it can be really cool. I can wear it with outfits instead, like with some shorts or something like underneath. But I thought I was going to be able to wear it as a swimsuit, but I still... It's still gonna work, I can still wear it. And this was 11 euro, and the jeans were 34 euro. So this one piece thing was 11 euro, which is pretty good. That's why I grabbed it when I seen it, because I think it'll look really cool, even underneath that denim skirt or something. The last thing I picked up from Boohoo were just these high rise um, white shorts um, from their denim limited edition. Um, collection and they're actually really really nice on I would never wear white shorts ever but I just seen these on the model and she was wearing them like really cool I think they look cool with just the Birkenstocks and like a, I don't know like a t-shirt or something like that so and they're so comfy they're stretchy and that's what they're like at the back and I like the way they're not too um high on the bum what's next 
Okay, so the next thing that I actually picked up was just this little black top from Forever 21. I can set up for you guys and show you. So basically just looks like this and it has these like super cool, yeah, I'm wearing pajama bottoms, I don't care. It has these super cool um, like kind of long witch kind of sleeves. I think it's really, really cool. It's really on trend and it also has these little cutout sides. So I think that's really nice little detail and it shows your boobs. <laughs> Last thing that I picked up was, well, I didn't actually pick it up, it was delivered to my house from Topshop. I didn't think I was gonna go on Topshop to buy some summer outfits, to be honest, because I do think Topshop is a little bit expensive, especially if it's just kind of for stuff that you're picking up for your holiday, which is gonna be a couple of days. But I feel like these things are gonna do me throughout the summer. Okay, so the first thing that I'll show you guys is this little cute crop top from um, Topshop that I got. It's just a white, kind of low cut, low back cotton crop top and I think it's just really nice. It's gonna be just a really super cool basic to have when I'm over there with like denim jeans, denim jeans, denim shorts. It says six pounds, eight euro. Second thing I got was another just cool crop top because these are gonna be the handiest. That looks so small on camera, but it's just weird knit. <gasps> White ribbed knit crop top. That's what it's called. Uh, again, it just has this kind of little dip at the front and then a little low cut at the back. And it's just gonna be super cool and handy to have and won't be sweating or anything in it. I think they're doing two for 10 on their basic basics basically <laughs> like crop tops and stuff like that so I got this white one and I also got it in a black I like to buy these alone they're like eight euros so two for ten is super good and um, here's the black one again it's just the same it's very warm in here this video is long and I don't really like bikinis but I feel like I might want to wear one one day over there I don't know I'm going to Malta by the way so it's gonna be super hot so basically I got these high-waisted black pants because I think these are gonna be really versatile because I have a couple of bikini tops that I can match it up with you know mix and match but I love high-waisted stuff so at least this isn't like full-blown bikini you know it's not gonna be like uncomfortable around my stomach it's gonna be comfy I like my stuff high-waisted 15 euro for those pants and then I thought well since it's on the website I may as well pick up one little top for the bottoms just to really kind of go with and it crisscrosses at the back, that's why it's sitting so weird. But at the front, it has this really nice meshing detail, and then it goes to the cup, and then it has this, it's like a double strap, and then at the back, I'm so bad at explaining things. At the back, if you can kind of work out, it goes like that. So it's gonna be kind of like a triangle look to it at the back. Like the hardware on it is gold, so I think that's really pretty, and it's just gonna be nice and a comfy kind of bikini to have. For when I'm over there and the very last thing I got is my favorite of everything that I picked up favorite thing that I picked up off Topshop and it's just this kind of but not kind of bodycon orange um, as well like the top up like the crop tops this kind of knitted feel to it not like proper uh, knitwear you know it's quite light it's loose it's feminine it's kind of has a swing to it at the bottom so it's not going to be uncomfortably like bodycon tight which I'm super happy with and then it has this really cute little detail at the back just so it's not too plain and there's just a little bit of edge to it this was 25 euro so I'm really happy with that and I think I look really cool paired up with like these Birkenstocks and a big fedora hat and like Ray-Bans or something. So that's it. That's all I got. The gist of what I've got so far, the other things that I'll pick up are more like products and stuff that I'll need over there, you know, essentials, but they're just cool things that I bought just for, especially for the holidays. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I should be still probably on the website because these all delivered in the last two weeks. So I only bought them two weeks ago. So yeah, definitely jump on the website if you've seen anything you like. They actually have really nice stuff in for this summer. That's the end of this video and I should be back posting more regularly, hopefully.
get back into the swing of things. It was weird videoing this video, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, give it a massive thumbs up because you know it helps me out and it motivates me to really make videos. I always put stuff out there for you guys when I see that you guys are liking what I'm putting out. So definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can get subscriptions. It's all free. Um, you'll just get subscriptions to my videos when I do post. You'll be first told you will be first told about it so if you want to do that hit the subscribe button and of course leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you want to put out any ideas of what you want to maybe see next in my video until then i shall see you in the near future good bye